Okay, guys, crops are changing colors, at least the corn is. Uh, just here in the matter of the next couple of weeks, um, corn harvest is going to be upon us and millions of acres of corn is going to be harvested off. Uh, bedding patterns are going to change, velvet's coming off. I've got a pretty good idea of what bucks I've got to target this fall, for the most part. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm switching over to learning patterns. You know, I, I want to anticipate. I want cameras out there doing that job, gathering that intel for me. Um, you know, as that pattern's changing, not getting cameras out when that pattern has already changed or is in the process of changing, because I don't want to disrupt it. I've said it before. You'll hear me say it again. I will continue to say it. Help the deer do what deer want to do. All right, guys, so I've got, like I said earlier, I've got a pretty good idea of what bucks I'm going to be targeting this fall, switching camera to watching the patterns that these deer are doing. Um, I kind of got the zone that I know they're in. I want to watch them and see, are they using this edge of the food plot? Are they, you know, preferencing a gate opening over here or, or an opening in the switchgrass over here, so on and so forth? It, it's really important to have your cameras out watching this shift in the season. It's August right now. We're going to be shifting into velvet coming off, crops changing, hard crops getting harvested, fall plots going in, green, you know, green food sources popping up in places they haven't been. Lots of stuff's going to change. But what I'm noticing is that a lot of these bucks, especially these mature bucks, a lot of the small, a lot of the specific areas that they like to use stay the same. So if you can hone in on those little key things, it's going to really help you tremendously in this coming season and in seasons to come. All right, guys, so went over, you know, this pattern shift that we're about to go through. Um, it's really important to be paying very, very close attention at this time. Uh, stay out of your sanctuaries if at all possible you know just go back to the basics give give a buck his his core area but you know that's that's really what it boils down to he's going to make this ship hopefully stay on your property as much as possible we want to watch this ship as much as possible um, using the flex camera it sends video you know straight to your phone that's really unique in regards to you know you can see a lot you can see a lot gather info from pictures but when you can watch a video of a buck when you know enter just a little bit different or you know make a little right turn you thought he was going to go left you know, it's little pieces to this puzzle that we're putting together to help us build um, you know the sequence to help us put us in play to hopefully harvest that buck and it's really important to watch this on younger bucks you know what three-year-old has super potential coming up or two-year-old four-year-old whatever it might be that you want to let go another year or two um, how is he using the plots? Because these are small pieces that he's developing right now in his pattern that you can focus on in the future to harvest bucks, you know, down the road. Um, guys, appreciate it. Next month, season's going to be upon us. Um, so be sure to like and subscribe. We're going to keep these videos coming. Um, make sure that you are switching over to video mode right now to help gather intel uh, to help you enter into deer season the best that you possibly can. Appreciate you guys.